Hi everybody and welcome to Meals with Melissa where we make healthier versions of things that you want to feed your family. So today we're actually going to make cauliflower parmesan. You know, I always love that flavor like chicken parmesan and all those kind of flavors growing up and so today's just a healthier version and a way that you can actually keep feeding your family through some vegetables. So, um, super, super simple. Honestly, the thing that takes the longest is just waiting for it to roast. So we are going to start out with a head of bro or broccoli. Yeah, we're gonna do broccoli now, of cauliflower. And what I'm gonna do is I've cut it all down um, to bigger pieces because I'm actually going to cut them or slice them vertically into one inch planks. So how that's going to look, get a couple of these done here, is something a little bit like this. Right, so about one inch plank, and I'm gonna put that on a pan uh, with some parchment paper because I love parchment paper. It makes it super easy to clean up. I already have my oven heating at, at 425 degrees. We're gonna roast these for a bit. And like I said, that's what takes the longest out of all of the steps of making this. So super simple, well that one's falling apart. <laughs> and so some of them work, some of them don't, but honestly, you could just use it all if you want to. So I'm gonna do a couple more planks of this so that I have something to roast. And I'm just gonna put that one, even though that's not really plank, I'm gonna throw that on there just so. And let's do one more of these heads of cauliflower. Let's see if I can't get a couple more planks out of it. Honestly, what a great way. You could just tell your kids it's like pizza, right? You're just using the cauliflower as the crust, okay. So, I've got my planks ready to go there, and what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to brush it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil so that it will roast nice and tender. And so I don't have a pastry brush, I'm just gonna actually use a spoon and put a little bit of olive oil in a bowl, and I'm just gonna lightly brush both the top and the bottom before I put it in. Okay, and that way, because I am gonna flip them halfway through while they're roasting. Okay. So flip each of these over, get the other side. Then we're gonna pop these in the oven for about 35 minutes. We just wanna roast them till they're nice and golden brown. Don't wanna over roast them, obviously, but they'll be nice and tender. And then we're gonna pull them out and do something else with them. So those are ready to go. All right, so once those are done, I'm gonna set those aside and show you what they're gonna look like when they come out. I have a set here that I've already roasted. Okay, they're gonna be nice and a little bit golden brown, okay? So on top of that, I'm going to add a little bit of marinara sauce. Now, I'm very aware that a lot of those spaghetti and marinara sauces out there have a whole lot of sugar. You're gonna to have to do some research to find something that's not super high in sugar. Because yes, sugar is kind of an issue, right? We've talked about that a lot, that you know, sugar spikes insulin, insulin makes you store um, nutrients. So what, we're, what I found is, I th think this one's called, M M I can't even say it, More Glen, um, with no sugar added. It is organic. I personally don't care as much about that, um, but I do like the fact that it is lower in sugar than some of the other options. So once those have been roasted, I'm gonna pull them back out. And like I said, I'm gonna flip them about halfway through. I'm gonna pull them back out and I'm actually gonna to top each of those with a little bit of marinara sauce. So again, kind of your choice as to how much you're gonna put on there, but just enough to cover the pieces of cauliflower that I've cut. Okay, I'm just using a spoon. I, I don't do anything highfalutin here. Don't have that option. I don't do complicated. Okay, now, honestly, I'm making kind of a half of a half of a batch. Um, I'm gonna use a much bigger baking sheet um, if I'm doing a full batch because yeah, just that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so to that, I am going to add, um, actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. I wanted to do that actually before I baked it. Um, so I'm gonna do these before I throw those in. But I'm okay, I'll do it afterwards, no biggie. Just to add a little bit of, of spices. Okay, so to my pieces I've already done. Now on top of that, I'm going to use some fresh, very finely shredded mozzarella cheese. Not a lot. Yes, I'm aware this adds some saturated fat. Get over it, people. Saturated fat is not a problem for most people. Um, and I'm only using a teeny tiny little bit of it. So just a little, little, little bit on each. And I like it finely shredded because that way the pieces aren't overdone and they all keep falling off. Because honestly, my pieces of cauliflower are not that big. So put just a little bit on each on each piece okay now actually I've got my oven on broil it's actually ready completely ready to go for what I'm going trying to accomplish today um, and then when I'm done I'll actually bake the other that I just made um, it also calls for freshly grated Parmesan honestly I'm just gonna use what I have in the house 
um, because we do tend to have some some you know grated Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna, believe it or not, I'm gonna put this in my hand. I know it comes up a little bit when I'm using just kind of the this kind of grated cheese, since it's not really freshly grated. Um, I'm gonna put it in my hand and just kind of get all the little clumps out so that it goes a little bit all over my cauliflower. Yum. I love Parmesan. Okay, so got a little bit of that going. Then on top of that, actually that's everything I'm gonna do before I stick it in there. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna throw this in the broiler on high for three minutes. Yes, it's gonna, my paper's gonna look kinda grody, but while it's broiling, let's throw that in right now. Okay, because that's gonna melt the cheeses on top and make it nice and crispy. And like I said, you know what? What a great alternative to pizza, especially if, you know, pizza has a lot of calories. And I agree, it's a great American pastime. It's some of the food that we love. But if we can find healthier versions of it, I'm game, right? So while I'm waiting for that to broil, I am gonna check on that in a minute because I don't want it to burn. I actually got some fresh basil. So to the top once I pull it out, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the fresh Parmesan cheese, which again, isn't super fresh. Um, I'm also going to add some crushed red pepper flakes and I'm gonna cut up a little bit of fresh basil just for some, um, some aroma and to, to give it some freshness. Um, and I got some, you can find this at your grocery store anymore. It's so great. You don't even have to grow your own. You can just go down to your, I got this, Walmart carries this guys. Not my favorite store, but you know what? It's close and sometimes that's where I go. So I'm just gonna cut a few pieces of the basil while the parmesan or while the parmesan cauliflower is broiling in there, and I'm just using scissors. Super easy, right? Again, I don't do. It smells really amazing, actually. <laughs> I love the smell of fresh herbs. Okay, so when that comes out, I'm gonna add my toppings, and that's all there is to it. Now, I recommend that you actually eat these warm because they will kind of get soggy and gross if you leave them sit around too long or put them in the fridge. Um, but you know, options are options. And if you're trying to take some things with you to work the next day, I totally 100% get it. You can reheat a little bit. It might not taste quite as good, but it makes it for a great option for a snack, right? So I'm gonna check on those just really quick. Perfect, honestly, that'll work. All right. So here I've got my pieces of just newly broiled um, cauliflower, Parmesan, cauliflower Parmesan. I'm gonna add the little pieces of the basil that I just cut up to each of those. A little bit of the red pepper flakes. Not a huge person on red pepper personally, but you know, it gives it some op options and a little bit of heat, okay? And a little bit more of the fresh Parmesan on top. Just again, a little bit for some freshness. Okay, and here's how they will look, right? Actually, my family's already been into them, so that's why I don't have a full plate right now. Hopefully that works for you. If you guys try these recipes and you love them, please let me know that it works. The only reason I do this is to give you some ideas. I get a lot of clients that want something different and they want something healthy for the family, but they just don't quite know where to go for it. So let me know if it works for you. If you have a great recipe, I'm listening, guys. I'm, oh, I'm never full of too many options to take ideas from other people. If you have any questions or if you'd like more information, you can also message me on Facebook Messenger um, or leave a comment below. All of these, after I'm done with them, I do post them to my page, but I also have them uploaded to YouTube to my channel, which is expanding rapidly. Pretty quick here. So have an incredible day, you guys. Happy holidays. And that is Meals with Melissa. Have a great day.